Welcome back, Wolfpack Brawlers here, and let's start off Fan Fridays with a battle from Alex. No description, just a d submission. So we're going to see how this one ends up going. I like the Neuvert, I like the Milo. I just, you know, I always say it, I, I'm starting to sound like a broken record over 200 episodes in. You know, I like it. We're, we're going to see what this team does. Against the Cloister. Now, Cloister can do some very terrible Shell Smash things. And going for the Scald might have been the best option in that case because yeah the shell smash it's going to double the attack the burn cuts it back in half and that's just very unfortunate for the opponent we all hate those scald burns man unless you're using it but when you're on that receiving end and it really makes or breaks the game like that it's just bad now another scald into the burn that's gonna be enough to knock out cloister so it just goes for the poison jab now you don't really have too many options uh Rock Blast would be like the really only other option, but it looks like the Cloister's taking a Poison Jab against Fairy-type Pokemon instead. But it doesn't matter. Scald makes it to where that is a KO. The crit doesn't matter either. We saw that uh, Cloister dropped into Yellow Health, so that was over half of its damage. And I think this might just be a sudden little Milotic Sweep, even though Tangrowth might say no to that. Darn, I was, I was getting excited. It's like, oh, the opponent has a Tangrowth. But then Neuburn comes in, and Neuburn's like, hey... I can handle you pretty well, bro. So the Giga Drain is going to be, like, super resisted right there. And, with, yeah, Tangrowth knows it. It, it can't stay in that. Neuvern's packing way too much hate against it. And Togekiss comes in to counter out the Neuvern. All right. Now there's that Air Slash. And into the Flamethrower. So, not really, I, I guess, going for the burn. Not really sure, like, what could really come of that. But Togekiss goes for a huge Dazzling Gleam. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Not Scarfed, because it would have outsped the... Actually, I don't even know if toy um, Scarf Kiss can outspeed a Neuvern if it's timid. But anyway, a lot of damage coming across. Ice Beam onto the Togekiss. It's going to be a super effective hit. Togekiss is going to Roost and get most of that hit health back. So yeah, actually, Togekiss looking a little better after that Roost, after the Ice Beam. Uh, this is not a good position for my Lodic to be in, but now that you're stuck in, might as well make it work. Goes for the Scald. Got, you gotta play that burn game when you're using Milotic. You just hide behind the burn. There it is. Two for two on the burn. Man, that's 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 Pokemon for you. You can't control all the factors at all. So the burn's gonna make it to where, you know, Ice Beam plus that burn damage. Togekiss, it's gonna have a hard time. It, it might not be able to roost back all the damage, or it's gonna be like a very small gain at the end of the day. And since we've seen that uh, Milotic is faster, it's... Ooh! Just a straight up, like, maybe modest hit point invested, just, like, tank Togekiss that wants to set up a nasty plot and ruin your day. I guess that's that, that that's what this could be. Because, I mean, from that Dazzling Gleam, that, that hurt pretty hard, so... Can't just be full tank Togekiss on that one. And that's just going to be a burn into the Ice Beam. The nasty plot set up, it wasn't good, but Togekiss really had no other options. And that's going to be a KO right there. And now... We, we get to see Tangrowth again, so how is Milotic just going to say screw it and stick in? I'd like to see some courageous play like that. See how much damage the Ice Beam does against it. Yeah, there's Milotic just like, hey, I'm going to use Ice Beam. And if we get the Freeze, that just makes this like one of the haxiest battles ever. Okay, we didn't get the Freeze. Milotic is a special defense tank. Tangrowth has a good amount of special attack, but depending on how it's invested, might not have the most damage. So, Milotic... Probably not going to go down. It might survive with like the clutch one hit points if it takes if it eats a Giga Drain. If you can soften up the Tangrowth with the Gallade, you know, it could just come in and do some damage. And then Milotic is probably a really reliable way of knocking of finishing it off. So we just need to see like Gallade just come in, Psycho Cut, ruin its day. And yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Um, close combat, also an option, I guess. Knockoff, or it goes for the knockoff. It's going to take away some of that tang growth sustain. Ooh, the big root. So yeah, the big root being knocked off. And oh, the leech seed giga drain with big root. I'm actually not a fan of big root because it's only like 30% of the damage that you heal. And on, in, let's say you heal like a full, or like you, um, trying to figure out how to put this. If you do full damage to your opponent, so that means like a giga drain one hit KOs your opponent. And that means you're healing for half of your opponent's health, which is roughly a little less than half your health, because Tangrowth has more hit points than um, the average Pokemon. So you're getting a third of, almost a third of your health. So I mean, like, one ninth. It's better than Leftovers, but only on, like, one-hit KO scenarios. And the same thing goes with, like, Leech Seed. 
you're getting one third of one eighth of their hit points. So, I don't know. But here comes the Psycho Cuts. Oh man, this Tangro is being a boss right now. Eating up all those hits, got that synthesis. There's the Leech Seed Drain. Wow. Not really sure what can be done at this point. Like, Milotic going to get that something clutch? Ooh. Galliard's like, okay, I need to Drain Punch. If I can get some health back, it'll be, it should be enough to withstand this turn. And that could change it up. I think that that clutch Giga Drain might have been enough to maybe change the battle up a bit. It doesn't have the big root anymore, so it's not getting that little extra health. So there's the Leech Seed. And yeah, Giga Drain's probably not going to be enough, but like I said, if you can whittle it down, you know, that Psycho Cut into understanding that Milotic, it can do pretty well with that um, Ice Beam. We're good to go. So yeah, the Drain Punch buying it the extra turn, so that way, you know, uh, Tangrowth had to take the offensive and not go with this, the Synthesis. Pretty cool play right there. And then Milotic's like, oh yeah, hey, I'm faster than you. This is over. So that was actually pretty cool. I like the way that, you know, it looked bad, but breaking down like what was looking like just an unstoppable force for the rest of the team ended up coming through so i think it's a cool battle start on fan fridays i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we got more fan fridays coming up as always